So a fella never knows when he might need some uh, heavy duty rain gear. Well, Hurricane Fiona has been categorized as a major hurricane, major hurricane, major hurricane. Doing a little pre-prep work before the storm. Making sure my batteries are all nice and charged up. And we got plenty of water in there. A nice full cooler with all the fixings. Got the headlamp, flashlight, GoPro with batteries stocked up. Battle wagons all loaded up and ready to go. It's about two in the afternoon. This is the calm before the storm. You notice there's no leaves blowing at all in the trees. We got some gray skies happening here. We're gonna be in for a good night tonight, baby. It's about eight hours before Hurricane Fiona is set to pummel Prince Edward Island, and I'm on my way to Trackety Beach to ride out the storm in my van. We're expecting 100 km per hour winds, gusts of 150, up to 200 millimeters of rain, storm surges and waves between 12 and 15 meters high. That's like 50 foot waves, bruh! My plan is to settle in at the Trackety Beach parking lot for the night and have my friend Morgan join us in the morning to survey some of the gruesome destruction unleashed by Fiona at zero hour. Except for some rain and a bit of wind, there wasn't much action going on, so I put on a hurricane horror movie called Bodies, 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 produced by A24, and waited for the storm to arrive. It's now 1am, the wind is blowing hard, and it's raining heavy. I got out of my van to survey the situation, and my flip-flop disappeared into a puddle that was quickly devouring the parking lot. It was clearly time to move to higher ground. I made tracks to the Trackety Community Center. Well, it's 4.44 in the morning and I haven't slept yet. The wind's just been unreal tossing my van around. You can kind of hear it there, I'm sure. And it's pretty nuts out there. Yeah, I'm gonna wait till the morning to go play in it though. Oh, hey Chris. Looks pretty windy out there. I thought we'd just uh, get all suited up in our rain gear and go take a little walk. That's the garbage. Yeah, bro. That used to be over there. Wow. Yeah, that's where I was parked. Yeah. Oh yeah, dude, the harbor's lost. Yeah. This road's barely here, man. Look, check it out. Yeah. Oh, damn, bro. She could be a hop, skip, and a jump right into the drink. Yeah, I'm turning a good, turn it around here. Just disappearing behind me. The road's just gone, man. Yeah. Look. Wow. That's wild.
Yo, if I get zapped, remember to grab a big stick and hit me with it. Water starts. Yeah. You get wet. Need to drink. Might not make it, man. Woo! There she is, back in the boots. Yeah. Whoa! That's not Push! Push! I missed the path. Super fing sketchy. Go, go, go! Just never ending. One thing after another after another. Lines and trees, lines tangled in trees. Yeah, what a mess. bench got flipped. As decimating as the footage was, Hurricane Fiona was downgraded to a post-tropical cyclone storm before it hit Prince Edward Island. That means we got the winds, but missed out on most of the heavy rains, receiving only 80 out of a potential 200 millimeters that would have accompanied hurricane status. Which I'm personally okay with. That storm was still quite the wild ride. If you're digging my vibe, like and subscribe. Also follow my day-to-day -day adventures on Instagram at it's me, Chris P.